Talking video games in 1983 on the Atari? Yes! Sign me up! Wait! This is played with the Atari 5200 controller, though, right? Oh, never mind. I'll stick with the 2600 version. If you've ever played Berserk, and if you've ever used the Atari 5200 controller, you know that the combination of those two is like a marriage made in hell. Berserk is hard enough with the arcade joystick, let alone the 5200's sad excuse for a controller mixed with buttons. And, like Vanguard, this is a wonderful game on the Atari 5200, destroyed by the Atari 5200's own controller. It's like it doesn't want you to have fun when playing with it. Now, there's many of you who have probably never played the Atari 5200, let alone even seen one. And you can watch my review of the Atari 5200 controller to uh, see why it's such a uh, disastrous piece of uh, engineering. But it's an unfortunately difficult controller to use when precision aiming is required, <laughs> like in Berserk. This game will tear you to pieces if you can't hit what you're aiming at. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, the controller will prevent me from escaping much longer. Maybe Evil Auto designed the Atari 5200 controller. That's the name of the bouncing bad guy in this game, kids. Evil Auto. Don't piss him off. Now, you don't have to hammer away the fire button all that much, but I found aiming to be nearly impossible, even though this is such a cool version of Berserk. Uh, the voice dialogue is the best part. Although it does freeze the screen when it's talking. It can't do two things at once, I guess. If you're collecting for the Atari 5200, the good news is that Berserk is readily available on eBay and it's cheap. Even though it doesn't have the cool voice dialogue, the Atari 2600 version is even less expensive and far more playable with the wide variety of controllers that work on the Atari 2600. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to run away before I'm crushed by a bouncing smiley face. It's Berserk on the Atari 5200. <laughs> I love getting points after I lose a life in this game. And uh, this version of Berserk does have nice robot explosions that are lethal when other robots or you walk into them. Again. 